Has that guy been stabbed by a giant anime sword? It looks like it should have come out the other side, though. I guess it's a broken giant anime sword. Also, is this still loading? Am I supposed to click something? Hey, Red. We're not gonna get away with this, are we? Is that the sword talking? Okay, that's a... That's a strong start. Come on, pull. So you like, turn this turn-based. And then... Like, do things. That's a really dope approach to active pause. I don't... I haven't seen anything like that anywhere. That is so cool. Is the, isn't these are like random character stories? I mean, if they're irrelevant to the main story, do I really care? Because, I don't know, stuff like, uh, she was someone working somewhere, was a chairwoman, did whatever. Does this matter to me? Is it, like, it needs to be somewhat tied into the game to make me care. Wait, is this where I came from? Also, can I summon my friend? Yes, he will... wait. He just instantly exploded? <laughs> oh no, my friend. I thought he was gonna follow me around. <laughs> so I was wrong. So this will strike twice as much power. And it only gives me 4%. Yeah, yeah, this, this like, uh, make the game harder for bonuses thing, they've... I suppose they can't give too much of a bonus or you will, like, uh, grind up levels early and be too powerful like this. It could lead to some kind of feedback loop. But, I don't know, it just feels so useless. I think that really st struck home is Hades, where uh, making uh, things harder for yourself was necessary to unlock more plot. Like to resolve all the plot lines, including uh, optional ones. Well, you had to use the modifiers to make stuff harder. And of course, that didn't really make you stronger. So... Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I guess they figured it out eventually, but same as with Pyre, which I think came out after Transistor. Uh, yeah, this just doesn't seem like I would ever want to use this. There's nothing to gain. The the four or two or whatever percent is 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 not worth anything. Back where? I think that was just the tail. Okay. An author decorative pool. Unauthorized swim seventeen. That was just. The that's, uh, <laughs> I love some of these little tidbits they've added. Just, just like random stats for things. Uh, Unauthorized uh, swims is one of the best. Uh, the town has been totally fucked by the process. Huh? Hey, Red. You got a full house. Ever get the feeling? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're in seats. That's so adorable. They're, they're, they're <laughs> they got their little chicken seats to watch me from. Full house. Hello up there. Okay, now this is it. 
there's the credits. So yeah, first off, the game is fucking short. Like, see my online time, it's under six hours, just under six hours. So that's basically how long it took me to beat it. And I feel like I was taking my sweet time. I did almost as much of the challenges as I as were even available to me. I went out of my way to unlock all the little character stories, all of that. So for starters, there's just not very much game. But I mean that's okay, it's a it's an indie game, it's just something to consider. Um, as usual with Super Giant, obviously it's pretty, although in this case I think they were a bit all well not all over the place, but a bit um, how to explain. Some of the levels were just really hard to navigate. Like, there was so much shit on top of each other, on top of other shit, that I couldn't figure out where the fuck to go. Like, what the geometry even is. Um, I mean, I guess it, it, it... The game is so artsy, it may have been by design, but I, I kind of doubt that. I, at some points I spent, like... A, at least a couple of minutes just running around the room looking where the hell am I supposed to go now. Um, combat. The, I, I really love how they uh, did the turn thing. There's like advanced active pause I guess you would say. I was not a fan of how towards the end they were starting to mess with it like enemies that could uh, obscure your vision while you're trying to plan that tactical turn thing. I mean, I guess it's increased challenge, but it's kind of your core mechanic that you're undermining that way. I don't think that was a good idea. Also, some of the enemies felt janky. There's like the dogs that are just way faster than you and even if you try to like blink away from them like that well jaunt jaunt is the ability so you jaunt away from them but they're gonna get to you before you can jaunt again and before you can use turn again so it it kind of made it Feel like there's times when you just take inevitable damage no matter what. I mean, overall the game still wasn't particularly hard, so it's not like a big problem, but I don't know, it's just, it just feels janky when I have like no tools, there's like no buttons to press, no nothing, and it's not because I fucked up, it's because that's just how it works. Like, th that's just how the numbers go. If, if I can't kill one of the dogs, or there's some, there were some of those multiple dogs, if I can't kill them in one turn, then, well, I'm gonna get bitten, no matter what I do. Oh, and, well, the plot, the writing, that shit was cool, but there's, like, holes in it. It's, one thing I'm most disappointed about is the ending. <laughs> With the final boss, like, well, why were we even fighting? Literally just because the game needed a final boss. So... I guess, all told, it was still a cool game. Those six hours were fun. Um, but... I can't give it more than like seven, seven out of ten. Like it wasn't bad, but it was. It had some interesting ideas, and then it kind of, kind of flopped. Some of them, kind of just didn't finish others. Yeah, 
it's it, it, it's good. It's just not brilliant. 